personal, industrial, or military use will be detrimental to livelihood, economic well-being, and development in France. Model United Nations is a class that we offer at Spring Valley where the students are able to look at current events and current issues globally. Um, and they take on a country policy that they're assigned and they have to debate and discuss that policy and come up with resolutions um, from that country's perspective and policy. A lot of the model UN groups in Las Vegas, they have to meet after school or on weekends. And because of our administration support, uh, we've been able to keep it <laughs> as an elective. So, and it's growing. Model UN is an amazing opportunity. It's one of my favorite classes and one of my favorite things to participate in on weekends and over breaks. Um, it's a really amazing time to get to work with peers and to learn more about our community and our world while also in like a competitive environment. And I saw Model UN and I did my research on what, on what it was. And I also saw it on Netflix on this show. And then I was like really fascinated by all the great things that occurred during this uh, great class. Like we mock uh, UN uh, debates such as the Security Council, UNESCO, ECOSOC. Like it's kind of like debate where we debate about solutions to world problems, but we look at it through a diplomatic lens. Um, everything is spoken from a country's point of view and country policy. So rather than our own personal opinion, we speak, we research country policy and we speak from that point of view. Um, I like Model UN because it's really helped me become better at public speaking. I used to be a really shy person and I didn't talk very well, but now I've not only become a better public speaker, but I can like write speeches on the fly like very quickly. And I've also gotten better at like writing papers faster. And what we learn in Model UN also transfers into my other classes. Definitely public speaking. It takes a lot, even though I gave speeches when I was younger, when I was like running for student body government or like club positions and things like that. It's really a whole different ball game to have to talk about things that aren't yourself, like politics and other people and have people's lives like, you know, in your hands almost. Um, and then also I would say working with others when writing resolutions in groups at the end, that's like a big challenge because everybody has different ideas and different ways of writing and different skill levels. And so getting to learn to work with others in that way is really helpful too. Biggest things I would say, time management, research, writing, public speaking, and also just a general communication and networking. I think that's really important. You're most of the time coming to these conferences and you don't know all the people in your room. So you're having to make friends in order to compromise to get the committee to move forward. And I think that's a pretty integral skill. It's not only helped with like my public speaking, paper writing, speech writing, but also like connecting with people and networking with them.